Let's draw a car kids. Start with three curves. Three circles for the wheels. Connect to do the same for the other wheel too. Make the headlights and the windows. Some final touches and done. Time to add magic. A glittery pink. Blue and cyan for the windows. Amazing! Some purple. And yellow for the rest of the car. The headlights with orange. Bling bling. Let's make the wheels fun and colorful too. Green. Purple. And gold. Yay! Here is the coolest car ever. Keep watching for more videos. Kids, let's draw. Today, we're going to draw and paint a computer and keyboard. That's right. So now we're doing a rectangle shape for the monitor and another one for the keyboard, each with a border. Drawing the keys on now. Crisscross those lines. Join it all up. A few buttons and a mouse, of course. Don't forget the screensaver. Let's do a rainbow. Fantastic! There! Ready to paint! Pink first of all for our computer frame. This part of the computer is called the monitor and this is where we see all the pictures and read all the words. Do you have a computer at home? How about a phone? Mobile phones are just like mini computers. Green now for the one button and blue for the next. Yellow for the third. Let's go for a darker blue for the stem of the computer and yellow for the border of the keyboard. Gorgeous. Red now for the first lot of keys. Green next. We love a rainbow keyboard and why not? Purple. You can choose your favourite colours. Blue! Did you know that computers were first invented in 1822? That's a long time ago by a man named Charles Babbage. They weren't built till 1991 though. Well, we've come a long way since then. Some red in the middle of our mouse and green to finish it off. Time to do our rainbow. Starting with red. Then orange, red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Doesn't it just look beautiful? I love this computer. Nearly done. Purple for the last part. And yes, you did it. Hi kids, let's make our very own television set. Let's begin with making rectangles inside each other. Our TV needs buttons, doesn't it? Let's make them. We need to make an antenna for our TV. We need a picture on the TV too. Well, our sketch is ready. Let's color. Let's use yellow. Light blue for our antenna. Wooden 
Don't using dark pink. Light pink. And a tad of silver for the TV be awesome. Silver reminds me of my mom's jewelry. It's so shiny. <laughs> we are almost there. Green and blue for the button. And red and yellow for the rectangles below. Pink for the bigger one. Now, let's paint the picture in the TV. We can use a little of yellow. Magenta Green Blue Orange Finally, red. Let's paint the legs teal. This makes me want to watch my cartoon. There you go, our television set is ready. Hi kids and welcome back. Let's draw a super easy mug today. Start with a straight line, then connect with a curvy line and a reversed C for the handle with a D inside. How simple was that? Let's complete with an oval shape on top. Yay! Time to add a nice and neat outline. Looks great. Let's add a heart on our mug. Just like that. It looks so cute now, doesn't it? Time for some fun. Let's paint. A bright and lovely yellow. We're doing great. Just keep going. Let's complete the mug with yellow color. And now, the little heart with red. Just stay in the lines. We're almost done. is our finished mug. Good job! See you next time! Hey friends! Today we're gonna draw a magic wand. First, we're going to make a big star. It's easy to make with upside down V's. There you go! Then we're gonna draw the stick. That's good! Keep going! Now I think I need to add some more stars, don't you? Yes! Let's outline this neatly. It's time to color. I want to use yellow for the star. What about you?
For the handle, I'm going to use two colors, blue and orange. You can use whatever colors you want. I can't wait to use this magical wand. I think we can add different colors for the stars here. It looks great! And here we have it! Magical wand! Hope you had fun! Hey kids! Can you count to five? Just like on one hand, you've got five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Wiggle your fingers! Number one is so much fun! Number two is friends with you. You can have fun with this and draw your smiley happy face numbers. Just ask an adult for help. Number two with a smile and some eyebrows. Number three is filled with glee. Two eyes. Number four next. Number four on the floor. What's next? That's right, it's number five. Number five is so alive. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Number five is so alive. One, two, three, four, five. Ready to color. Let's do number one yellow. I like to do number one yellow because number one is my favorite fellow. Super easy to colour in between the thick black border there. Number two can be orange. Number two is feeling the colour orange. Delicious! Yeah! Number three can be so blue! Like the sky when the sun's shining for you! Or sometimes when you're feeling sad, we say we're blue because we feel bad! Counting's my favourite thing to do, so I'll colour three in blue! Yeah! Which colour shall we do four? Pink, of course! I really love number four, colour in pink, I don't want more! Oh yeah, that's the score, number four! 
Last but not least, number five. Let's do it green because five is alive. He likes to jig and jive. Oh yeah, he's number five. We love the color green. Number five loves to be seen. Ooh yeah. One, two, three, four, five! Hi kids! Are you ready to draw the yummiest ice cream ever? Let's begin! Draw a little drop like shape. And now, just keep adding oval shapes. Connect a rectangle. And here we have the cone. Time to give our ice cream a face. The eyes. And a cute little smile. Let's finish with a neat outline. Yes, just like that. Yippee! It's time to color in. Yellow. Then some green. A lovely pink. My favorite bubble. Orange for the cone. And we're done. Here is the yummiest ice cream ever. Bye, kids. Hope you had fun. Hi kids, let's begin drawing a lipstick. Draw a rectangle with a slant on one side. A bigger rectangle now. And an even bigger one below. Done! I think we need some nail polish too. Draw a small rectangle. A bigger one with a tapered end. And the brush. Very easy. And now draw a line. This is our mascara wand. Let's quickly give a neat outline. Great! Let's add some fun colours. A pretty pink lipstick. Yellow and orange for the tube. Light and dark green too. Green for our nail polish. Let's use purple for the bottle.
and the center can be in pink. Looks pretty. Yellow and red for our wand. And we're done. Here's our makeup kit. Hope you had fun drawing. Hello kids. Today we're going to draw a yummy healthy strawberry. First draw one curvy line and then another. Join them both at the top with a small stem. Now for the leaf, just draw a line of small triangles. Yes, just like that. Time to draw the seeds. Let's do a nice neat outline. And now we begin to color in. A bright red for your yummy strawberry. Painting is so much fun. And for the stem, let's go with a light green. We're almost done. And here it is. A lovely red strawberry. Hope you had fun. Hey kids, today we're gonna draw a pizza. So just draw a circular outline, but don't go all the way because we're gonna cut out a slice. Do a V, another one above that. And come round to finish your slice. And a double border because we like a nice thick crust on our pizza. Let's do some pepperoni. What's your favourite pizza topping? Maybe it's vegan pepperoni. Let's do some olives, black olives. Or do you prefer green? Maybe you'd like some jalapenos if you like it, huh? Some mushrooms! You know what else goes great on pizza? Peppers! I love them! Green, red, yellow and orange, all delicious! Right, time to shade the border in. Gonna make it a thick black border. Ready to paint. Starting with the crust is going to be orange because it's lovely and golden from being baked in that stone oven. Oh, all this pizza drawing and painting is making me hungry. That does look crispy, doesn't it? That's it, keep going, you're almost there. Brilliant, let's just do the edge of the slice now. Ooh, yummy. Right, what's next? How about the cheese?
We're going to do it yellow, the traditional colour of cheese. Ours is mozzarella and cheddar mixed with gorgonzola. Maybe a little parmesan sprinkled on top. Do you like sprinkling parmesan on your pizza? Sounds strange, doesn't it? To add more cheese on top of cheese. But I tell you, it's fantastic. So this is the part where we really have to take care because whilst we're painting the cheese yellow, we've got to paint carefully around all of our toppings. Circular shapes for our pepperoni. Then the oval shapes and rectangular shapes for our mushrooms. Small circles for our olives. So we're using a small thin tipped paintbrush for this. And if you have the option, you can always change up the paintbrush. Use the small one to go around the detailed areas where you don't want to go over the border, you know, over your toppings. And then use a bigger, thicker brush to cover more surface area more quickly when you are away from the danger zones. Keep going, you're doing really well. That's it, around your olive. Nearly there. This is the hard part done, nearly. And you're done. Brilliant job, well done. Let's do the pepperoni. A dark, reddy, pinky colour. And if you don't want pepperoni, they could be tomatoes. Perhaps that orange of the crust is our tomato sauce squelching out the sides. Mmm, yummy. One more. Brilliant. Now for the mushrooms. They're going to be grey. You could use any type of mushroom. Chestnut, portobello. Or just plain old simple mushrooms. And there you have it. A wonderful pizza. Now let's add that parmesan. A few splodges here and there. Shake, shake, shake. On our slice. And voila! You've done it. A pizza! Great job. Hey kids, let's draw the Taj Mahal. One of the seven wonders in the world. Starting with the minarets, a shorter one too. Now a dome. Now a beautiful big center dome. Repeat it all on the other side too. Wasn't that super easy? Now draw an archway. The windows. Four on each side. Now some smaller windows. It's already looking so beautiful, doesn't it? Let's make windows on all the minarets too. Now comes the fun part. Let's colour. We will be using white all over. The Taj Mahal is made of lovely white marble.
Let's keep going. Wow, it's looking so pretty. Has anyone seen the Taj Mahal in real life? It's really beautiful. Time to add the details. Use a grey colour. Draw horizontal lines on all the minarets. Now let's colour all the big windows. archway too. We're doing a great job. And now, final touches for the big and pretty dome. And done! Here it is, the magnificent Taj Mahal. Hey kids, choo choo! Let's draw a train. Start with the tracks. And now our train. Add headlights and the window too. Let's complete the rest of our train. It's super easy. Just follow along. Add all the windows and more details to make the perfect train. Now comes the best part. We have to paint. First brown. And now, let's use some sky blue. Pink on the front and side too. This is going to be the coolest train. Some yellow to make it super fun and bright. Let's 
Let's use sky blue for all the windows too. Don't forget to paint all the windows. A peach color will look great. Let's quickly fill in. And lastly, a touch of blue. Our amazing train is done. Hope you had fun.